Y'all, LSU goes three and out. They almost scored again. The damn wide receiver didn't catch the ball. Marshall Jr. He, he could have had it too, man. Georgia lucky, man. Because it would have been a damn touch. Now we would have been down by 18. Now we need we need to use this momentum. And score, and score another touchdown, man. Tyler Shelman, by the way, is back in on the defensive front in the middle. Along with Lawrence and Logan, they got their number one guys in their up front. All right, number 72 back in the game. And Georgia down, an extra receiver. If you missed it earlier, Dominic Blaylock injured. They don't get George Pickens back until the third quarter. We need him. Bad. So it's next man up for Georgia. First down at the 21. Stingley with the tackle as we check in with Jamie. Hasn't Jake Brown faced a lot of criticism so far this season? He feels like at times it was his lowest point. So we asked Kirby Smart how he handled that with his quarterback. He said, This is a guy that's a type A personality. He needs reassurance at times. I can't talk to this dude, man. As good as we can have. Your good is even good when we have. You can't keep babying him, man. You need to talk when we be fucking up. Yeah, and Kirby also said, It's like any player on it, their team, when they mess up on offense, defense, or special. Team, you need to yell at him. There's his numbers from the last drive that netted them three points. Tyler Shelvin and Jacoby Stevens, one of those safeties. It's a nickel package for LSU. And those number three and number seven are always in the action. Inside number 72 throws them away, but look who's there. Jacoby Stevens reads it quickly. Stevens basically uh, line. They got to get them big boys the off with. We're going to run it up the middle. Can't have there. no tackling. Two putts, missed field goal, and a field goal. This Georgia five receiver group, they're having to play Landers, they're having to play Samir White and Cook to cover up for the injuries at wide receiver. They're going to be blitzing. In suspensions. Simmons in motion. Again. There you go, baby. First down for Brian Harry. Might have gotten face mask, but he's still standing. Okay, down the play over. Chill out. Motherfucker. They ain't gonna throw the face mask. A lot of shift in motion. Goes one way and then he gets hurrying out. Easy leverage right there. He gets outside. There's no way Patrick Queen could get it the coverage. We've seen Brian Harriet as a receiver make some really nice catches this year. Yeah, I remember that Florida game. Yeah. He did that one-handed bobble to himself. Yep. Got a couple on Can the they run it? On Can we run it with Tom? They don't He's expect him to run. In the quarter. Last that last drive for three points. He run these down drop plays with two yards when we could at least be getting six, seven, or eight yards. Hell, even the first down if they fake it to him, they ain't gonna expect him to run. All you gotta do is slide and not form the fucking ball. Zamir right back in for Georgia. Two tight ends set. Joe Burrow looks on. Jake from. Come on, Jake. Hasn't been there that often so far in the first half. Well, one of the most creative defensive coordinators in college football is the oh, defensive coordinator for LSU, Dave Miranda, and this time Gil Delta. And he's blocking this dude, man. Nobody blocking him. Just let him come in and sack him. And Miranda just earned part of that. What is he got? God damn. Now we third and long. By Georgia, but that one was a nine-yard bullet by Delpit. And only nine sacks all year, but that one, and Jake's from. Um, oh, my goodness! He has been Mr. Durable. Fuck! Three years as a starter. And, boy, you talk about a huge blow to Georgia's chances if... One of the things you do have to do as a quarterback, if you feel a twinge, you oh my see his right ankle go oh. from behind. You cannot come out. I was a backup quarterback. You've got to give me some throws on the side. Somebody should have been blocking for him, man. Damn. To limp. You can't limp off. You got to give. And he's blocking for him. Just let him come through and sack him. Snaps just to get used to the situation. And that backup quarterback would be Stetson Bennett, who has not seen a lot. They ain't even been using him the whole damn season. Ugly all the way around, unless you're Grant Delpit and an LSU fan. Jesus. Trying to walk it off. 
Left ankle. Jesus fucking Christ, man! Well, in some games here, backup quarterbacks have hurt Georgia in this stadium. Could a backup quarterback save them this time for Georgia? Well, Stetson Bennett, who's in his second stint as Georgia, at Georgia, started off here as a freshman and went to Georgia. Good job, Fran. Good and job. Community College in Mississippi. And now back for a second time, and you saw the numbers that he's put up 20 out of 26 for a couple of touchdowns, but... Every Georgia fan in here is either biting their fingernails or holding their breath, and Jake's going, all right, we're going to go. Okay, let's go. Goodness. So here comes Stetson Bennett. And, and right now, Kirby has to figure out a way to get his team out of this half. Keeping it close enough when they get Pickens back in the second half and maybe get Jake Fromm back a little healthy. Talking about the backup quarterbacks, right now? Yeah. <laughs> One year was the national championship game. Tua Takamaloa took over, and then Tua got hurt last year, and Jalen Hurts Hurt comes in, and that touchdown is what ended it 35 28. So now it's Georgia's backup quarterback in the spotlight. You can see him on the sideline going, Give me the play, give me the play. Why have a lot of plays for third and 17? This shit has been play this fucking close. irritating. All damn game. Almost a disaster. Yep. So they will punt. He went for Matt Landers over the middle of the field. The ball sailed out of me. He's very fortunate that this one wasn't a disaster. He let it. He fucking checked the damn ball and gets it. Tries to throw number five. Got him open. Just doesn't get it to him. Man, you got it. There's Stevens, who did get a hand on it, and now it's Kamara to punt. And the Georgia injury tent has been too busy in the first half. Christ! Kamara's kick, Stingley backpedals, just lets it go, and it's going to make the end zone. And that's a big difference, and Kamara knows if he could have pulled the string on that just a little bit, it would have put LSU in a tough spot. He had a huge game against Auburn. Please, God, let Jake Fromm be all right. By yeah. punting Please. He did. Again, Georgia not only trailing 14 to 3. Down by 11. Number 11. No telling if he come back in the damn game. Down and we hope not out. Jesus Christ. Somebody help us, please. We're lighting up.